Josie is an 87 year old woman who is recovering from a hip fracture due to a fall and a subsequent hip replacement surgery. She has some residual right, right side of weakness due to a stroke last year. Josephine needs help with transfers, meals, bathing, mobility, and dressing. Oh, great. I've got an 87 year old patient. We're going to have nothing in common. <sighs> They're always so disappointing, grouchy, narrow minded. I don't even know what I'm going to talk to her about or how I'm going to assist her, but let's get started. Hi, Josephine. My name is Rebecca. I'll be your nurse today. Let's get started. Why is my regular nurse not here? She has the day off today. Do you even know how to transfer me? Of course I do. Great, breakfast is here. Eat up, okay? Here's your chair. Soft boiled eggs again. I can't even eat this stuff. Josephine, it's what the dietitian ordered. Eat it, okay? I'll be back to feed you after. Where's the doctor? When can I see him? I don't know. Well, I'll be back later. Just eat your breakfast, okay? After breakfast, Rebecca assists Josephine with a shower and helps her get dressed in a clean hospital gown. Rebecca brings Josie back to her room and tells her to watch TV. Here you go, Josephine. Watch some TV, okay? I need to go to the gym three times a week so I never move as slow as Josephine or look like her when I'm older. Oh no, here comes my supervisor. Hi, Rebecca. Can I talk to you for a minute? Hi, Ginger. Yes, of course. What's going on? How's your day today? It was great. Yeah, it was really good. Good. How's everything with your patient? She was great. I did everything she needed today. We fed her. I did a bathing, changed her. She's back in bed and good for the evening. Okay. Did you learn anything about her? Does it matter? I did everything that she needed to have done and it was ordered. Okay. Um, I'm just a little bit concerned about your attitude towards this patient. Um, I think you should be developing more of a therapeutic relationship with her, um, assisting in her care. Um, an idea is to go research Jean Watson's theory after your shift today and apply it and see how you can apply it to your nursing practices. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. What would Watson do? Hi, I'm Jean Watson. I may look a little different from the last time you saw me. I'm trying out a new hairstyle. Anyways. I'm delighted to welcome you to the study of caring science and the theory of human caring. Many hospitals are now using this work and it might be helpful for me to give a little summary of what it means to enter into caring science. In the model of caring science, we address the whole person and we are invited to take this work back to the heart of our profession and the heart of humanity because it really is in our hearts where caring resides. Within the context of caring science, the theory itself contains the 10 CARTA processes. These 10 processes are absolutely universal practices of human caring. Now, the word theory comes from the Greek word theoria, which literally means to see. So we are doing these practices every day, but when we have the language to see what we're doing and to name them, that's when you begin to transform your system. The theory lives in those scary moments when you walk into the patient's room and you seek to see who that spirit-filled person is and you never know how we're touching the life of another human being. So the caring moment is the essence of this theory, and at the same time, we realize that is where the theory lives. It requires us to pay attention to our authentic presence, to our consciousness, and the way in which we enter the space with another human being. So we build in rituals and concrete practices, whether it be hand washing to cleanse and help make a transition, or whether it's pausing, just before you enter the patient's room. Those are all helping to inform what happens in the caring moment that affects us for as long as we live. Now I've asked some of my colleagues from the Watson Caring Science Institute to show up to your class and explain each carita a little bit further in relation to the situation we just watched. I'd like to pass it over to them now. God bless you on this journey. Namaste.
Alrighty, so our first Kurita is formation of a humanistic, altruistic system of values. So that's basically understanding the impact of love and kindness and caring on yourself and on others. Um, you do this through your practice and it can be learned as well. The second Kurita is installation of faith and hope. And that is where you develop your nurse patient interrelationship and you bring um, a roundness towards the care you're giving and you're being. Karita number three is cultivation of sensitivity to oneself and to others. This is nurturing, maintaining, and respecting religious and spiritual beliefs of not only the patient but of yourself. This is moving away from transactional reactions to more loving and caring interactions. Number four is going to be development of a healing, trusting, human, caring relationship. This is creating that one-on-one -on -one relationship, not only with patients, but also with your coworkers as well. Create a number five. So that's promotion and acceptance of the expression of positive and negative feelings. So that for us is giving space to patients and coworkers to express their emotions and understanding of where they're coming from. Create a number six is systematic use of a creative problem-solving caring process. So that's using the ways of knowing, like creative, intuitive, aesthetic, ethical, personal, and spiritual. So creative number seven is promotion of transpersonal teaching learning, which is engaging in a genuine teaching learning experiences, as well as addressing the individual's learning needs and styles, which promotes knowledge and growth empowerment. And creative number eight, is provision for a supportive, protective, and corrective mental, physical, societal, and spiritual environment, which is creating healing environment at all levels of sp physical and spiritual self, which respects self-dignity. So the ninth Krita is assistance with gratification of human needs. And this Krita is important because it ensures that the patient's basic physical, emotional, and spiritual needs are met. These needs are similar to Maslow's hierarchy of needs and every need is equally important and must be valued. The 10th Karita is allowance for existential phenomenological spiritual for forces, and phenomenology is an understanding of the patient from their point of view, and existential psychology is a study of how humans exist. This Karita is important because it allows for mir miracles and mysteries to happen. The nurse must help the patient have an open mind about spiritual forces and confront life and death. The very next day. Okay, we got Josephine again. Just forget everything that happened yesterday, wash it all off, be very present in this moment. Okay. Open mind, open thoughts, think like Watson, think like Watson. Okay. Good morning, Josephine. Is it okay if I call you that? Oh, you again. Actually, I prefer Josie. It keeps me young. Oh, okay. So Josie, um, today I will be your nurse today. My name is Rebecca. We're going to be doing hygiene. We're going to get you some breakfast, and we're going to get you out of the bed and get you all nice and clean, okay? Is that okay with you? Are you sure you know how to transfer me? Yes. So I double-checked your chart, and of course, at any time, if there's anything I can do to accommodate you or make you feel more comfortable, just let me know, okay? <sighs> Look, breakfast is here. Let's get you some food. Boiled eggs again. I said I can't eat this stuff. Well, Josie, what would you prefer? I can see if I can speak to the dietitian about it. Oh, actually, well, since the last time I had soft boiled eggs, I, I got very sick. Since then, I've become vegan, and I would much rather prefer some oatmeal. Oh, no. Thank you so much for sharing. I'll speak to the dietitian and see what I can do, okay? Ooh. What about my staples? When can I get them out? When can I see the doctor? To be honest, I'm not too sure, but what I can do is I'll speak to the doctor and see when he can come in, and I'll let you know next time I'm here. But what I can tell you now is that picking up staples, there's a lot of things that we have to do. We have to make sure it's healing properly and everything looks good. What do you think about that? Okay, that sounds fair. Okay, I'll let you know as soon as I come back, okay? After breakfast, Rebecca assists Josie with a shower and helps her into a clean hospital gown. Rebecca brings Josie back into her room and asks her what she would like to do. You comfortable there? Here you go, Josie. Perfect, all comfy? What would you like to do now? 
I love to watch some television, if that's okay. Of course, let's turn it on. Perfect, and then here's the call bell. I'll be just outside if you need anything. Just ring the call bell, okay? Okay, Enjoy. thank you. Mm -hmm. before my shift ends. How was your day? It was good. I'd like to thank you, Rebecca, for your care today. You really helped me feel comfortable. When I was your age, I used to be athletic and fit, just like you. But since the injury, it's made me very dependent on others and makes me feel quite depressed. Thank you so much for putting in so much effort. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your kind words, Josie. Although I can't fully, fully relate with you, I too am an athlete and I know I've gained a lot of resilience in sports. And I'm sure you have too. How about we focus on that and applying that to your rehabilitation so we can get you back on your feet and feeling more independent. What do you think about that? Sounds really great to me. Fantastic. Well, have a good night. I'll see you soon, okay? Good night. Take care, darling. Hey, Rebecca. I just wanted to let you know I was listening in on your conversation there with Josie. I can, uh, I can tell that she really connected with you today, and I've never noticed her connect as well with a nurse before. What did you learn about her today? I actually learned a lot. We have a lot in common. So we're both vegan, I play sports, she used to play sports. It was actually really nice to get to know her today. Oh, amazing. Well, I can tell that you really took my recommendation to heart. You applied Watson's theory beautifully, really loved it, and it worked really well, so keep it up. Thank you. And as Watson would say, namaste.